<laughs> I just want to you know Hilti's hole saws are actually made in the USA. This Hilti half inch to 7 16 adapter with a ball bearing in there, I wanted to see if these actually go together. And they do very easily. I've never seen an impact wrench do a hole saw before. We're actually going to test out a few of these and see how well an impact wrench could actually do this. I do love that case, you guys. That case is awesome. All right, so we're going to try out the one and a half inch. We're going to try out the three inch and the four and three quarters. I'm curious to see if an impact wrench could actually do this. And like I said, this video is actually focusing on this adapter. The quick insert collet, it is not. It needs to be adjusted to go into place. I don't know, it seems to be doing just, uh, I'm not exactly shocked by that. Let's try different wood. You know what, maybe it's the tool. Let's try screw. Let's try screw mode. And that's only a small one. Let's try another hole. Next, let's do the three inch. Let's see how well this actually does. I do have a feeling that the impacts are actually loosening up the, the threads and causing this to get loose. Hole dozers might not be good for impact wrenches, but that's what this video is for. We're gonna find out. Got it. Yeah, I don't recommend it, you guys. I don't. We're gonna test out Milwaukee's Arbor and see if this has any luck. All right, let's continue. Milwaukee released the bit. All right, let's try that again. We're, we are going to do one more three inch hole. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys, nothing but problems with this impact wrench. Uh, doing this with nothing but problems. I never had this much, um, this many problems with using a drill driver. All right, let's uh, try it again. Let's see if I can do two holes in a row. I have a feeling that's going to come out again. Yep. All right, so we're going to end that with an impact. Let's test this out on an impact. Uh, sorry, on a drill driver. I love the concept, but using an impact wrench for this stuff is not a good idea. Because the force of the impacts is actually vibrating this too much to where all the screws and components that are keeping everything in place are just coming loose. Like that, that that's, wasn't even tight anymore. So it happened to the, the Hilties and it happened to the Milwaukee's. All right, but yeah, this one's the Milwaukee's, this one's the Hilties. They both actually are not good for an impact wrench. Go figure. I want to test these out normally. Let's go to a uh, hammer drill. The Hilti Neuron hammer drill right here. Let's see what this does with the tool that is actually designed for. First time using it, I need to break this in anyways to, uh, for the versus video coming up. All right, so let's see how well these actually do with uh, the tool that they're actually supposed to be used with. Yeah, that's a lot better. See, and it comes out like it's supposed to. Yeah, using an impact wrench for this stuff is not a good idea, guys. It doesn't work. 
Technically, it does the job, but I didn't have to change the arbor on this at all. Let's do one more hole, then let's move on to the four inch. So much easier, you guys. So much faster, too. Oh, let's do the four inch. Let's see how well the four inch does. Wow. Let's do one more. That, that plows through it like nothing, though. Let's do one more haul. Yeah, it's flimsy right here. I'm going to have to adjust this. That actually is a disappointment when it comes to using the impact wrench. I was hoping it can, but it turns out that the impacts actually loosen these uh, arbors up. And uh, and yeah, so like, it just everything just becomes loose because it's just the force of the impact just vibrating everything and cutting everything loose. And then if you do that in time, the threads are just going to strip and everything and so you might as well just continue using your drill driver or hammer drill but like i said the main focus of this video is the actual adapter itself i'm gonna do some research and see what else this could actually be used for and see if an impact wrench could actually do it and we'll explore those options in the future and see what else this adapter can do that's awesome so i'm glad hilti uh, sent me this i can't wait to explore this adapter for those of you who subscribed and uh, watched my videos you guys know that i love using tool attachments in videos i seriously need to figure out what else this can do for the upcoming years we are going to be using the hilti hole saws and i want to see how well these actually do but i highly recommend you do not use an impact wrench to do hole saws so i thank all you guys for subscribing to the channel and watching the videos and i seriously do thank uh hilti has as well for sending me some stuff for the past few years i love working with hilti you guys i i really do well if you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time <laughs>